As we embark on a new leg of life's journey, may we continue to set our goals. Ask God for strength to carry out our future endeavors. Believe we can accomplish anything we want and we will receive excellent and recognizable results. And the first of those excellent and recognizable results for 25 students is their outstanding scores on the 2011 primary school examinations, scores that earned them an award presented today by the Ministry of Education and Sports. The students hailed from the Belize, Cayo and Orange Walk districts. The top performer is Alia Marin from Holy Redeemer RC School, who is already preparing for a new chapter in her young life. I feel very proud because I know I've worked really hard for this. I will be attending St. Catherine Academy and in the future, well right now I like working with computers and technology, so maybe something in that field for my future career. Sharing in her excitement today were her parents. I'm really proud. I, like I said, I can't really express. I think it's very overwhelming. We will support her all the way in high school and sixth form and what, whatever she decides to go further with her studies, we will be there with her. Alia was awarded a laptop and printer, $1,000 in cash and a full scholarship for high school. The second top performer is Josette Magnan from United Evergreen Primary School. Well, we did a lot of preparation. It feels really good because all the hard work had to pay off. Now, have you um, made plans for which school you're going to attend and, you know, further plans as to what career you're choosing? Okay. I'm going to attend Belize Comprehensive High School and, wanna, and I want to be an economist and a teacher. Jordan Murillo of Belize Elementary Primary School was the third top student. I just studied hard and then I tried my best. What do you have planned so far? So I'll just go, go to high school and then college and then I'll become an engineer and architect. Have you chosen what high school? SJC. For their performance, Magnan and Maria were each awarded a laptop and a $300 book grant for four years. Their parents were also present at the ceremony and expressed pride in their achievements. Well, we didn't expect them to do this well. Um, you know, there's always exam room jitters and it's a one-shot exam, but we're very pleased at the outcome, most definitely. I feel proud. Um, it shows that um, when you work hard, um, it pays off. 22 other students were awarded a certificate and a $300 book grant for four years. But while the Ministry of Education celebrated these 25 students, Minister of Education Patrick Farber recognized that there is more work to be done to improve the PSE scores, particularly after this year's results were lower than previous years. He adds, however, that the responsibility lies with all stakeholders in education. What is going to fix the problem, ladies and gentlemen, is those who are stakeholders in education, and by that we mean every single person in Belize, the parents, the managers, the principals, the teachers, and yes, the Ministry of Education, the community, all putting their shoulders to the wheel to make sure that our education system is improved and is truly delivering the kind of quality that we would want to see delivered for every single child in this country. Reiterating the importance of parental support in education were the parents of the top three students. Know exactly um, what's, what's taking place at school with your children. Try to um, develop a relationship with the school, with your, your principal, your teachers. It's a three-way street. It's something with a, par a parent, develop a relationship with parent, child. Getting, that makes your child comfortable in school. For us, our role was simply being there, uh, working alongside our teachers, uh, making sure that we create the right environment for him, as well as uh, making sure that he remains he remain committed. Um, you know, there for 12, 13 year and 14 year olds, there's lots of distractions nowadays. And the big thing as a parent, really, there's no secret, there's no magic formula, it's just simply to keep them on that path so they can see success. Whatever she needs, um, the tools that she needs in order to perform um, is there. So we provide that enabling environment for her to succeed. We will continue to be there for Josette. And with that support in place, the top performer Leah says the rest is up to the student and had this message for those who are yet to sit the exam. Just work hard, reach for your goals and once you've done your best, not even the angels in heaven can do better. Lalele Kal for Love News.